I just realized I never told you guys, like, when the contemporary books are being released, and I'm not going back to refilm that, so I'm sorry, but you'll never know. <laughs> Jay and today I'm here with a ginormous book haul and a couple of goodies that I got at the Indigo YA preview event that was hosted in Toronto this year. I was invited by the Indigo teen team to come down and listen to a presentation about all the new books that are coming out very soon and they were moving offices and told us that everything in the room needed to go so we were allowed to take whatever we wanted so I got a lot of books and also a lot of bruises from carrying all the books to Union Station from the office building which was like 20 minutes. You probably can't see them very well but my arms are a mess. But thank you so much to Indigo Teen Team for hosting that event and just being super generous to us. And without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> okay, so I'm not going to give any synopsises for any of these books because there's 43 of them and that's ridiculous, but I did kind of split them into like categories. So the first category that I'll talk about are the mystery thrillers that I got and you know your girl loves herself some mystery thrillers so very excited about these. So the first one that I got was Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen A. McManus and I read One of Us is Lying. I gave it a four out of five stars. I loved it so this is the sequel. Super excited. The next one I got is coming out March 2019. It's Killing November by Adriana Mather. All I really know about this one is that it's like a boarding school and that somebody ends up dying and the main character has to like prove that it wasn't her who did the murder. So we love some murder on this channel. The next one, when I got it, I squealed like a little girl because I've been wanting this book forever since it was talked about on Twitter. It's been like on my radar and I've been like begging the publisher for it and I have not gotten it. But it is Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman and this is released in April 2019 and I'm just like so excited for it because I've heard nothing but amazing things for the people who have read it. The next one is Missing Presumed Dead by Emma Burquist and Serial Killers I'm pretty sure so here for that. The next one that I have is June 2019 and it is Teeth in the Mist by Dawn Kurtagic. Probably saying that wrong, but it's like a haunted house kind of thing, so intrigued. The next one was another one that I've been begging to have in my hands and it is Wild Girls by Rory Power and this is released in July. And all I know is that it's a horror LGBTQ book, so very excited and also the cover is super super nice so here for it. And then the final mystery thriller that I picked up was The Best Lies by Sarah Liu. This is also July 2019 and it's been compared to like Pretty Little Liars and Little Big Secrets or what? what's that show with Reese Witherspoon? Whatever that show is. Uh, Big Little Lies? Big Little Lies I think it's called but I like it. The next category that I sorted them into was contemporary, so I have a lot of those which I'm really excited about. The first one is Odd One Out by Nick Stone. This was already released but this is like the ARC version of it that they had on the shelf and I was just like haven't read that, need it. The next one has already been released in January. It is The Love and Lies of Roxana Ali by Sabina Khan. All I really know about this one is that it's Muslim and that she is LGBTQ. She she has a girlfriend so I'm thinking that she's a lesbian. She could be bi. I don't know the proper label that she identifies as because I have not read it yet but I'll let you know when I do. The next one I'm very excited about because it is the author that wrote The Female of the Species which is one of my favorite books so when I saw this on the shelf I was like give it to me. But it is Heroin by Mindy McGuinness and this is releasing in March 2019 so it might actually already be out. The next one I'm very excited about because I've just heard a lot of great things for the people who have read it already but it is Internment by Samira Ahmed. This is released in March 2019 so again it might already be out. It's March 9th when I'm filming this so might be out now. I don't know the exact date of publication because it does not say other than March so 
still very intrigued about this one. The next one, I actually have an e-arc of it, so when I could get the physical copy, because I just prefer physical copies over the e-arcs, I was very excited. It's Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett, and I have a lot of Jen Bennett's books, but I have not actually read them yet because I'm trash, but this is another like rom-com kind of thing that comes out April 2019. The next one I picked up because I saw Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5 talk about it, and he was very invested in this story. It's Earth to Charlie by Justin Olsen. This is released April 2019 as well, and all I really know about it is that it's about aliens which is similar to We Are the Ants, so I can see why he's intrigued by it. I don't know if he's read it yet, but there you go. The next one is How It Feels to Float by Helena Fox, and all I really know about this is that it has apparently really good mental illness rep. I love mental illness books, so I'm very intrigued to see what I think of this one. The next one I freaked out when I won in trivia is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver, and I follow them on Twitter, and they just seem like a really great person. All I really know is that there's a non-binary character, and they're in an interracial relationship and I'm just really excited about it because for the people who have read it they've said that it's amazing so I want to be amazed too. The next one I have actually came with a notebook as well but it is Love from A to Z by SK Alley. I know that they are the author who wrote Saint and Misfits which I haven't read but got great reviews. All I really know is that it follows two Muslim teens that meet on spring break and it's like their love story but it also tackles very difficult topics so I'm excited to see what it's all about. The next one I won in trivia as well and I freaked out when I saw it on the shelf and that it was an option. It is There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Menon and she's the author of When Dimple Met Rishi. All I know is that apparently it has amazing fat rep for the people who have read it and I'm just really excited to read this companion novel because I've heard nothing but great things. Next one is All Our Broken Pieces by by L.D. Christian and all I know about this one is that it has OCD rep. I don't know if it's good or not because I haven't read it and I haven't heard anybody really talk about it but I'm very intrigued to see if it is a good one or not. The next one is The Lovely and the Lost by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and all I really know about this one is that it follows like search and rescue teams with dogs and your girl loves dogs so I'm very excited about this one because dogs. The next one came in our swag bag and it is Maybe This Time by Casey West. She's an author that writes a lot of rom-com YA books, so I'm assuming that that is what this is going to be. The next one I'm excited about because it's an LGBTQ plus book, not 100% sure what label it falls under because I haven't read it, but I know that there's a trans character in here, so I'm interested but it's something like Gravity by Amber Smith. She's the author of The Way I Used to Be, which was one of my favorite books in like 2016 when I read it, I believe, but it is just so good and I just think she's a great author, so I'm very excited to see this one as well. And then the final one that I have in my contemporary pile is The Boy and Girl Who Broke the World by Amy Reed. I actually have like no idea what this one is about. I just really like the cover, so I grabbed it, but here we are. The next pile I have are like historical fiction books, so there's only three of them, so not too many, but the first one I'm really excited about is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chotsky, and I was actually going to buy a finished copy of this because I've heard really good things about it, but then they had the arc there, so I was like, mine. The next one, another one I'm super excited about because everybody who's read it already has given it five out of five stars, so I want to join that bandwagon, but it is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. She's the author of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I have not been able to find, and I'm really annoyed about it, but now I have this book, so at least I can read one of her books. And then the final historical fiction book that I have is A Dress for the Wicked by Autumn Kroos and we heard about this one at Frenzy and they said that it was like Project Runway in a YA book so I'm here for it. The next pile I have are retellings and you know your girl is a huge fan of retellings so I have four of them. The first one is The Dead Queens Club and this is by Hannah Kappen and this is a Henry V11 whatever that equals and I, I can't do Roman numerals. It's that retelling set in a high school setting so 
interesting. The next one is a Sky Without Stars and this is by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. I have an e-arc of this so I'm very excited that I have a hard copy now because like I said I just prefer hard copies to them. And this is a Les Mis retelling so I'm pretty intrigued on that. I hated that movie. I found it really boring but maybe I'll like this. It's a honker too. The next one I'm very interested in. I think it sounds really good. It's Once in Future by Amy Rose Capita and Cory McCarthy and this is like a King Arthur retelling but look at this cover. Oh my god. And it's to be released in March 26th, 2019. And then the final retelling that I have is Stepsisters by Jennifer Donnelly and this is like a Cinderella retelling but it follows one of the stepsisters and apparently she has like an amazing redemption arc so I'm very intrigued in this one just because like I love evil characters getting redemption arcs so here for it. And then the next pile I have is the fantasy pile. The first one is already released in January. It is White Stag by Cara Barbieri and I just really liked the cover. It reminded me of like a Patronus from Harry Potter so I picked it up. The next one I picked up because dragons but it is The Ruin of Kings and this is by Jen Lyons and like I said dragons. Next one was solely a cover pickup. It's We Rule the Night by Claire Eliza Bartlett and this is released April 2019. I don't know what it's about but there's Forbidden Magic. The next one I've heard a lot of like people being excited about this book. I haven't heard anybody actually read it yet, but excitement has been mentioned. It is The Tiger at Midnight by Swati Tirdala. All I know about this one is that it's like an own voices fantasy novel, so I'm excited, but this one is released in April as well. The next one I picked up because Pirates, and it is Dark Shores by Daniel L. Jensen pirates need I say more. The next one I traded for because I wanted it so bad so I ended up giving somebody the bride's test and I got We Have the Flame by Hafsa Faisal and I've just heard that this is amazing. Everybody who's already read it given it like a five out of five stars so I wanted it in my life and now I have it in my life. The next one I got in my swag bag is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. I follow this author on Twitter and it just sounds like such a cool concept for a book so I'm here for it and this one releases in July. And then the final fantasy book that I picked up was Shatter the Sky by Rebecca Kim Wells and I am not 100% sure what this is about. There's no like synopsis on the back or anything like that but it was there and they said everything must go so your girl took one. And then the final pile of books that I have are final copies of books that they've had on the shelves for a while and I guess they were just in the office but the first two are The Hating Game and 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, Chelsea Dolling, Are You Quaking? I'm finally gonna read these. She probably doesn't watch my videos but <laughs> I have them now and I'm very excited because Chelsea loved them and I want to love them too. Then they had like a table of Indigo Staff Pick books so I picked up those because if they're Indigo Staff Pick books they must be real good. But I got Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz, Shadow in the Fox by Julie Kalaga which I am so excited about because I recently picked up her Talon series and I'm just like... <gasps> Loving it because dragons! And then I also got Grace and Fury by Tracy Bangart. I'm really bitter because I grabbed Echo North and then I forgot it on the table there and I cried a little bit when I got home. But I mean like can't complain because I got 43 books so I need to shut up. And I also got two books that I'm really excited for. The first one is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is the third book in the Dark Artifice series and it is a signed copy of it which like I squealed like a little girl. I still don't have Lord of Shadows but I do have Lady Midnight so once I get Lord of Shadows I can binge the series and finally say that I actually finished a series by Cassandra Clare. I finished TID so I finished one of them just not the Mortal Instruments. And then I also got King of Scars by Lee Bardugo because I won an indigo box for the King of Stars box so I got this and then it also came with the tumbler as well as a hand cream as well as a Grishaverse pin as well as 
the crown of feathers bookmark that was included so i got all of that as well and then the three final things which i am so excited about because i've been eyeing them in the store forever now and i've just been like i'm not gonna get them because we don't got the money to spend on that right now but i got three book besties which are like book sleeves the first one is the one that I've wanted for so long now because like hello it's adorable it's the kitty one it's got little ears it's got a tail I think it's the cutest thing ever but I'm so excited about this one and then I also picked up the just one more chapter girl reading they're going to have a bunch of diverse characters on these sleeves the next time they're released there's an african-american girl there's an asian girl there's an asian boy and i believe there's one other one but i can't remember what it is but yeah they're releasing a bunch of diverse ones so that's super exciting and then i also got one that matches my water bottle so i was so excited but it's this like purple galaxy one and hello purple so i was here for it all right guys so that was everything i got at the indigo ya preview i am so thankful for being invited and given that opportunity so thank you so much to Indigo Teen for allowing me to come down and be a part of your little group this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them or if you're planning on reading them once they're released and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!